Hey guys, doing about 60 miles an hour on the A8. I drive's telling me I'm gonna be there at about 11.20. And I'm moving again, so I'm in a little bit better spirits at this point. And I figured it'd be a good time just to engage in some good old fashioned car talk about the car I'm driving, a 2009 BMW M3. As you may or may not know, this car is comes equipped, and I did order it, with the MDCT, dual clutch transmission. It's a seven speed gearbox. And I want to talk a little bit about that because it's a notable improvement over the prior technology, which was known as an SMG, a sequential manual gearbox. Early versions of the SMG were simply the manual transmission with a bunch of hydraulics and a computer brain attached on top of it that would manually actuate the gears and simulate or, or replace the involvement of the driver and would do all the clutching and, and declutching via the use of hydraulics and, and the computer brain. Later versions were developed such that they were their own transmissions, but at the end of the day, it was still basically a manual transmission with a computer that was doing the shifting, which is to say, it wasn't very smooth in any mode other than the manual mode. In an automatic mode, it was really pretty terrible technology. All right, enough of the SMG. Now to the DCT that I'm driving today. DCT, dual clutch transmission. What that means, folks, is there are basically two separate drive shafts. On one drive shaft, you have gears one, three, five, and seven. On the second drive shaft, you have two, four, six, and reverse. These drive shafts are connected by as the name implies, two clutches, both of which can engage simultaneously. Now, why would you want to engage two gears simultaneously? You wouldn't. There is no reason to. That would be very, very bad. However, with two clutches, what you can do is engage one gear entirely and have another clutch doing the job of pre-selecting a gear. Thus, if you're in fourth gear, one clutch is fully engaging that gear. The second clutch is pre-selecting either third or fifth, and the transmission's very smart. If you're all out accelerating, if you're wide open throttle, it knows to pre-select fifth because you're gonna upshift. If you're hard on the brakes, it knows to pre-select third because you're gonna downshift. So, and at the moment you shift, there is actually a split second where two gears are engaged at the same time, and then after that, one releases and you are in, you, you just have one clutch engaged and you're in a single gear. Why is all of this important? Well, I'll tell you why, folks. Because when you have a dual clutch transmission, you can have the world's fastest shifts. I don't care if you're Michael Schumacher or Mario Andretti or any number of race car drivers, you cannot physically shift as fast as this transmission shifts. Furthermore, this is a completely smooth transmission. Downshifts are utterly effortless and take virtually no time. So you have a transmission that can also imitate an automatic transmission with amazing fidelity. And because it's a seven speed gearbox, you'll also have one extra gear on top of a six speed manual, which means it will be more efficient. So. Just for those of you who are not taking notes, an MDCT is quicker to shift, smoother to shift, and more efficient. So why wouldn't everybody want one? That will be the topic for our next discussion on European Delivery Made Easy. I hope to see you then.